Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ice Crash here and welcome to Kingdoms and Castles. I uploaded a mega stream of this earlier on the other day and you guys really, really seem to enjoy it and a lot of you were asking me to do a full playthrough of the game. So here we are in Kingdoms and Castles and we're going to be giving this a go today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. We're on the new beta version which has merchants and ports and I'm going to start a new game here. When I first played it, I played it on Vintar, the hardest difficulty. But everyone told me, Icy, when you try this for YouTube, you should play it on Summern because it's going to be much easier for you and let you make a much prettier colony. Which, you know, obviously I want to do, well, kingdom, not a colony. Let's um, zoom out here and have a look at the lands we have available. So because we have the merchant ports and everything in, we kind of want to go for some island-based ones. But I do want them to be relatively large let's go for a large one and let's go for island and let's change now this right here looks absolutely perfect we can start on one of these islands and then set ourselves up with a little bridge crossing the two in order to breach the gap this yeah this looks perfect i think this is going to be the best start we can possibly have we're going to stick with the lion and we're going to call our kingdom chilltopia because what else would we call it let's let's be fair here this is the chilltopia 100 percent and here we are in Chilltopia, an unpopulated land waiting to be populated by, well, me, I guess. So let's get started. Right now, having a look around here, this land here, not very good. I believe it's not arable at all, whereas this land over here is fertile, very fertile. Over here, we got a nice patch alongside, a, well, actually, that's an iron mine right there. We also have some more stones over there, and we have some stones right there. We could feasibly set ourselves up in this area here, which, yeah, that's where we're going to set up. This area right here is really nice, right in the middle of everything, and almost perfect for what we need to do. So let's plop down our kingdom, well, our keep, sorry, right there. We got a quiet hamlet on the go, and straight away, obviously, we're going to get some food. Now give us access to all of this land right there. Now these guys, they all need a home, so I'm going to go ahead and get them to chop down these trees here we want to keep these trees for our foresters but these trees over here definitely fair game they're sitting on top of arable land arable land which we will need so let's leave our peasants to do that because you know peasants what are they good for if not doing everything you want them to do like slave labor <laughs> mm. now that we have 20 wood we do need to get started on a couple of hobbles we're gonna build them really close to our main starting area because Frankly, that's going to be very useful for our guys to set up in since we're going to have a forester over here and our farms over here. We're going to set ourselves up with one, two, three farms ready to rock and roll and get started. Awesome. Not a bad start at all. Now, our happiness, unfortunately, did go down because we didn't have the hovels available, but that should start going back up now. So I'm not too concerned about that. Let's get this road. We have zero woods available to us but our guys are going to start chopping down more trees before long so let's keep this on the go and once they've chopped down these trees we'll be able to get started on building up our quarry which will be the next thing that we do need to progress it's going to cost us 15 wood though once we get properly started things will start taking off but for now it's mostly just a case of trying to get the basics down pat so we have managed to get more people to join us we actually got four people to come join us and live in these <laughs> crappy little hovels. I don't know why they'd be so foolish as to want to join this kingdom. It's not exactly the best kingdom in the world, but it will be. It will be eventually. I promise you guys. You know what I'm like. I, ca I can't stop until this does become officially the best kingdom this world has ever seen. So let's get the first quarry on the go here. Now start bringing in some stone. And then we're also going to go ahead and get ourselves a couple more hovels. Just plop down behind those two to get more people coming in as well. Food isn't going to become much of a problem once we've got more people in. We can just open up these farms as well and get people working on those, which will make sure our food stocks stay up. Obviously, on top of that, we are going to need to invest in a small granary soon so that people can store it. You know, it is kind of important. And the quarry is finished. Fantastic. These guys are starting to work on the farm. We now have 10 people in our colony. Only one person found it satisfactory. How dare you? My colony! My kingdom! Clearly the best! But it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It was probably because we didn't actually have enough beds available for them. Yeah, no beds available. So that's all okay in my book. So hopefully these guys get started on quarrying soon. Because that is going to become very important. We want to get a forester up as soon as possible. Which these trees are going to pay for. 
I'm going to make something to chop down all the trees over here, and these trees are going to pay for it. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Topical jokes. So that's just now got plenty of wood coming in. That is absolutely fantastic. We could build another couple of hovels, but honestly, I feel like we have enough of those to keep us going. An orchard would also be really, really good. But, ugh, again, you know, kind of want to wait until we can get ourselves, which is coming very soon, the Forester, which we're going to build out the back here. So we're probably going to want to build a couple of roads out just to here so we can slot the Forester in there, which we can now afford! Come on, let's get the wood on the go, ladies and gentlemen. Right there. Fantastic. We're going to be swimming in wood. Now that we have that set up, I'm not worried at all about just spamming some more farms. And I don't need to worry about wood or stone anymore, because they're just going to slowly but surely bring it in themselves. And I just need to sit here, kick back, relax, and do what a king should be really good at doing. Relaxing. I already said kick back and relax. Eating. Yeah, kings are good at eating, right? Yeah. Slave. Bring me for... Uh, oh, they're all busy working. Uh, none of them are available to be my slave yet. Well, I'll have a slave eventually. Don't worry about it. Good news is everyone is working right now. Everyone has a job. And while they're all bringing in these resources, I'm going to go ahead and switch off these two farms. Just to have two people idle ready to build some stuff up for me. For example, I want to get another two hovels on the go. But we're also going to want to get a well pretty quickly because... Well, we can't afford to let anything burn down. Get it? Well, well, ha 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 I see you're so funny! Oh, dragon! There's a dragon being sighted, me lord! Oh, whatever will we do? Oh, I don't know. Actually, there's absolutely nothing we can do. Please be nice to me, Mr. Dragon! I've done absolutely nothing to hurt you! I swear! I'm just a nice little kingdom. I think... I think he's gonna fly away. Yeah, he's not interested in it. We don't have any gold. Why would the dragon be interested in us? What do you want? See the dragon, build some defenses, aim for different conditions, tire of food stores are running. Look, God, all these people do is complain. So annoying. They do have a point, though. We should certainly think about getting a granary up and running. This land right here is barren. It's not arable at all. So we're going to go ahead and slap our granary right here. Good use of space, that. Brilliant use of space. You've never seen good use of space like it before, trust me. And we're also going to want to plop down a small stockpile again on the barren land over there because, frankly, barren land, useless at this point. We're just going to keep dropping down all of that. Why did a peasant leave? We have 80 happiness. 80. How can I make you any more happy? Wow. These guys, they're picky. They are picky. I put down a stockpile over there. That'll be good for that. The granary can now have food stored in it, which keeps it nice and dry and safe for my people to consume over winter. And gives us a ton of sp storage space to bring in more food, basically. For my slaves, my little, my little slave dudes right here, just to keep working hard and bring me in some more stuff. I'm clipping through the ground. There we go. Yeah, you plant those seeds. It's actually really cool to watch. <laughs> Hey, we are now a small village. That's right, people. A small village that can take on anything except dragons and Vikings. Oh, did I mention there are Vikings in this game? I didn't. Well, you're going to have to wait for the next episode for something like that to happen or the episode after that. I don't know. It's one of those. And at the rate of growth that we have here, we are going to want to set up a second woodcutter, which unfortunately, because of the way this is working, won't be able to go here. We're probably going to have to put them over here somewhere. Maybe... Oh, no, it will let me put it there. Fantastic. He'll chop down all of this stuff there. That's double the resources coming in. That's going to be absolutely incredible. Let's go ahead and put a road up to it as well, just to make sure that they have a fast way back and forth between the forester and the stockpile. Yeah, this kingdom ain't looking half bad so far, is it? A fire has started. Oh. As soon as I say that, a fire starts. Oh, my God, everything is on fire. Peasants, put it out. Put it out. No, they destroyed the hovel. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, from the ashes, people, you know what they say. When fire claims your home, you probably weren't liked by God anyway. <laughs> that is so mean. 
To be fair, I am their god, and I don't like them. They're just little shit, needy little shits that they are, but hey, there's no reason for me to be mean to them. I will help them rebuild their homes. There we go. And I'll also probably maybe install some better fire safety protocols right there. <laughs> I can't believe- Who set fire to their house, damn it? I work hard to bring these houses to you guys, and you just destroy them. Looks like another peasant has rage quit the kingdom. Ah, well, what are you gonna do? Cry. Uh, I'm very tempted to cry right now, actually. I, I kind of like that guy. His name was Bill. He played chess with me uh, on Wednesdays. Why Wednesdays? I don't know. He just really, really hated Wednesdays. So I was like, yo, you sound like a cool guy. Come play chess with me. He was like, yeah, cool. I'll play chess. I'm gonna miss Bill. What's his name, Bill? Or is it Jeff? Crap. What did I call him? Ah, Bill. Bill? Builder. There we go. Let's just build a cottage before I go absolutely insane. And we're going to want to get a charcoal maker next to just to have some more bonuses to our happiness. And once that's built, that's going to be able to hold a bunch more colonists, which, wow. Sorry. I play too much colony survival. It's going to be able to hold a bunch more peasants, slaves, that I can then use to do more farming. So I can then get more peasants and slaves in so then I can do more farming. So I can get more peasants and slaves in, and I can do my farming. I can get my peasants and slaves and I can do my farming. The peasants! Farming! But I'm just going to have to wait until the next episode, me thinks. This is not a bad start for a kingdom. Let me know what you guys think of both this kingdom, my star, and the way the series is going to go. Do you want to see this expand into a glorious epic kingdom? Or would you rather me kind of take my time with it, spend an hour recording, and just chop it up into some highlights? Let me know what you guys want in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much for watching. While my slaves build the, uh, sorry, peasants, colonists, you know what I mean. They build my origin here, which is going to give us a lot of food. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Like, share, favorite, and subscribe, pose a comment, and all of that fun stuff. And me and my slaves, colonists, peasants, whatever. Dragons. Elves. You guys could be elves, right? I mean, you don't have any ears anyway, so I could just pretend you're elves. Yeah, these guys are elves. We'll catch you in the next video of whatever I make. Bye-bye.